The flakes are also falling in downtown New Haven. The city says, although the uh, timing may be inconvenient, public works crews are certainly ready to go. News 8's Ken Pierce live in the New Haven Green, where he just received some uh, brand new information from city officials. Good afternoon, Ken. Good afternoon to you, Keith. Yeah, the snow coming down pretty good here in downtown New Haven. Just as Gil said, what he said, we'd be doing, dealing with this starting at lunchtime. Sure enough, here we are at lunchtime, and there's already a coating of snow on the ground in downtown New Haven. Not so much on busy roads like Church Street right back here. You can see for yourself in the travel lanes, we're still seeing blacktop more wet than white, but it's a different story when you get onto sidewalks and here on the New Haven Green, particularly with the pathways and sidewalks over here, grassy areas too. Those are all covered with snow, which means if you parked your car outside, it's going to be covered with snow. Now, as for the city, the storm has to be threatening at least six inches of snow in order for the city of New Haven to uh, activate its emergency operations center. Officials have a big interactive monitor in there on which they monitor real-time conditions and projected snow totals. With this storm only threatening three inches, this is not an all-hands-on-deck kind of day. But any storm could create potential issues uh, on the roadway, so we try to make sure that we're all on the same page. All of our agencies, fire, police, public works, parks, transportation, traffic, and parking, school system. We were talking 5 o'clock this morning. Now, he said an important word there, school system, and storms like this that happen in midday are always toughest on schools and parents of school-aged children because everybody's doing an early dismissal. New Haven, a 100 other districts are all in early dismissal. We don't get that very often, so everybody's timing is off for this, so be sure you're watching the bottom of your screen there to make sure you know if your town is on early dismissal so you know when to expect the kids home or you can make sure the kids have somewhere to go when school lets out early today. And when you head home from work, as Sam said, can't stress it enough, be safe and go slow on the roads. We're live in downtown New Haven this noon. I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, back to you.